what's up guys welcome to Munchkins Gaming where we take your gaming to the next level this is Munchkins logging in to bring you your Brave Cross Hero of the Week this week's Hero of the Week is the faded version of the beautiful Ice Priestess that can melt your heart Frostbow as you guys know I have done a Hero of the Week of the regular Frostbow if you look back through my channel now that is quite an old video and the audio isn't that great because before I was using just my regular headset mic and you know that is quite out of date so I thought I might as well do Frostbow with Faded Frostbow this week since this is basically my New Year's video basically this is my first video of the year now I am recording it on the 31st but this will this video will be out on the first so let's get started with Frostbow <coughs> so Frostbow is considered as a rear DPS with ratings of A for survivability triple S for DPS and S for support her main skill is the departed sentiment which summons a flock of icy birds dealing 420% attack damage plus 25 ice damage to a random enemy for 16 seconds now remember guys this is a 7 star frostbow so this can vary depending on what star level your frostbow is frozen enemies will receive 20% more damage from this skill and frostbow can attack but cannot gain rage during this time now that is the normal Frostbow's ability, but if you do get the faded version, you do get Sylph Call. What Sylph Call does is basically she teleports to the front of the formation and summons a whirlwind, whirlwind dealing to 13 times to 10 enemy units. And siphon a total of 50 rage split evenly from female targets. If enemy team has two or more than two female heroes, enemy defensive buffs are removed before damage is dealt. Frostbow is invincible and can't be interrupted during this time. Her basic attack, basically, she will cast an ice arrow that deals 120% attack. When it hits a target, the arrow will explode and deal 50% damage to two units in 80 rage. Sorry, in 80 range. Also restores 8 rage to here to hero which is Frostbow. Each attack has 25% chance to freeze the target for a total total of 2 seconds. Her main talents include the ice barrier. When she is attacked, there's a 22% chance of freezing the attacker for a total of 3 seconds. And when she awakens, mage troops also gets awakens. Attack speed 4, rage 4 and power leak are all self-explanatory now this is the new video guys so in my old video I didn't even think about going through the mythic ability but this time around since it is unlocked I will go through it with you guys so the, her mythic ability is called icy insight every time the opponent is frozen frostbow gets 4% attack and 10% attack speed which max out to 10 stacks so that's basically about 100% more attack speed and 40% more attack if she manages to get the 10 stacks. This effect will always be activated during battle. Now Heroes 5 and Plum Forest are all self-explanatory as well and you can get this when you get to 6 and 7 stars respectively. Now let's go through the Faded Frostbow's extra abilities. So, Misty Breath is the first ability. Her basic attacks do not increase target rage anymore, and there's a chance to freeze. The chance to freeze is increased from, I believe, 20%, sorry, 25% to 40%. She also gains 2 rage each time Frostbow freezes a target, and the Awakening is obviously upgraded to Sylph Call. When Frostbow is in the field, any fallen ally heroes have 15% chance to be revived with 40% HP. This can be activated once per battle. Each female hero on the field, enemy or ally, restores 10 rage to Frostbow 
as well. Serious Boom, Serious Shell, Clairvoyance, Enraging, Assault are all self-explanatory. And of course we do get the Unity, the, her first Unity ability is called Limpid, which can be unlocked once you get Sohi, Mother once you can you unlock Alice, and Divine which is currently uh, uh, locked, sorry. Now let's go through the pros and cons. As always, we'll start out with the pros. We'll also start with normal Frostbow. Now in my old video, I didn't mention any of these pros and cons. I only stated what I thought. But now that I've been doing this consistently, I think it's good to talk about the pros and cons. So the pros for normal Frostbow is, of course, she has very decent attack. Very decent DPS-wise. And of course her awakening is quite good, especially once you get to 7 stars. Although you might not be able to freeze the targets as much with the um, icy birds that flock down, there is still a chance for you to freeze them. And of course the frozen enemies receive 20% more damage from the skill. But of course her main ability, which is even her basic attack, has a chance to freeze. Even though it is only 25%, it is still a chance to freeze. The longer the fight is, the more freeze. You're the more, I guess, um, probability for you to freeze the target. Now, her main talents, Ice Barrier, is always good. There, I mean, 22% chance to freezing the attacker for three more seconds. You know, that's pretty decent. And of course, when you awaken, Mage Troops also awakens. Now, this doesn't sound like a lot, but if you're doing 10 Unox, it's, it's, this is pretty decent. She has decent attack speed as well. But of course, the main thing that we'll talk about is the Icy Insight. This is one of the things that I didn't mention in my old video because Mythic abilities were not um, released at that time. Now, Icy Insight makes Frostbow one of the best DPS in the game. If you are able to maximize Frostbow's ability, once you get 10 stacks, she will get 40% more attack and 100% attack speed. You guys probably can imagine that the amount of attack speed that you get from that means the faster you build up your rage bar. So in saying that, once you maximize Frostbolt ability, hell, you'll be able to use her awakening every 10 seconds basically. At least that's until you, you know, you activate the, the awakening and then you can't gain any rage during the time of the awakening. This is very good, I, but I, although I still think Sohi is the best DPS, even with the 100% attack, attack speed and 40% increase in her attack, because this is only activated during the time she freezes the target, it is a very low chance that she will be able to beat Sohi in one on one. Now I'm not saying that Sohi um, is basically the best and Frostbow is not. This Now that Icy Insight is there, it just makes it so that Frostbow is more competitive in terms of the DPS. And of course, depends on the situation as well. Now let's talk about uh, Fate Frostbow. Fate Frostbow basically makes Frostbow a lot more um, appealing. So the freeze chance for her basic attacks increases from 25% to 40%. She also gains 2 rage each time she freezes the target. And of course, her new ability, Sylph Call. This does a lot of damage. Even though it says it deals like uh, damage 13 times to 10 enemy units, it doesn't exactly say how much, but I'm guessing it will be around what Frostbow's DPS is. It would be nice if they actually say how much percent the um, actual damage that you will deal towards your um, targets, but the ability to siphon a total of 50 rage, which is split evenly by the way from each female targets, 
Um, it is very, very good. Basically, you filled up 50 rage just by using, you know, uh, Sylph Call. Of course, this means if your opponent has uh, a female hero. But let's face it, guys. A lot of the best heroes in Brave Cross are actually female heroes. There aren't a lot of very good male heroes unless you count the grand heroes of course but um, yeah this is very good and of course if there's two or more female heroes the en enemies defensive buffs are removed and then, then the damage is dealt afterwards she is also invincible during this time so uh, she can't be interrupted and that's only the tip of the iceberg <laughs> in saying so so when Frostbow is on the field, when she's, I mean, Faded Frostbow, any Fallen ally that has, uh, has a 15% chance to be revived with 40% HP. This is only activated once per battle, however, this is very good, even though it's only 15%, and I actually haven't had the chance to actually see this activate, by the way, it's a very, very small chance, but what if it does, 40% is a lot of HP and for each female hero in the field enemy or ally She restores 10 rage to Frostbow. This is insane Although I must say I don't notice this 10 rage um, apply um, I don't know whether it's bugged or not, but whenever I fight other heroes, I would have thought Frostbow's um, uh, rage bar would have filled up already so I, I'm not exactly sure whether it's a bug or not however if this is exact if it's working exactly as in it, it is intended sorry then I, I would say frostbow should be nearly maxima maximum awakening every time I fight in arena however that's not the case at all um, it's still it still builds up so I'm not sure exactly like I said if this is working as intended or not or it's a bug but hopefully if ever uh, they will fix it anyway that's what I think about the misty breath um, ability of course serious boom serious shell clairvoyance raging assault are all self-explanatory and they are very good for a DPS like Frostbow. Now let's go through the cons. Now let's start off with the normal Frostbow. Normal Frostbow has, a, like I said earlier, very decent attack and quite comparable to Sohi. However, her, her defense, she doesn't actually have any defensive talents or anything that can make her survive a little bit longer. So that is probably one of her weaknesses. And of course, depending on how you look at it, of course, the chance to freeze is either a good or bad thing. Uh, like I said in my old video, I do believe I mentioned that because it is so much of a lock base that um, it's very hard to say that it is actually a good thing. To me, it's a good thing, um, especially now that with icy insight but I'll leave it to your judgment of what you think of the chance to freeze of course ice barrier is only a 22% chance however like I said earlier it is there so it's you might as well say it's a good thing um, and again I'll leave it to you guys for your own judgment and other than that Frostbow is quite a very decent hero and of course uh, they're very good DPS now let's go through Faded Frostbow. Now Faded Frostbow's um, cons stems very much from normal Frostbow. She still doesn't have a, any defensive talents or any talents that will help her with her survivability. Now in saying that of course Faded, the Faded version of every hero has a little bit more defense and a little bit more HP. Now depending on how far you go with their um, refinements of their weapons and their armors, of course that will add up to their survivability and of course their DPS. Now that's all I can say anything bad with Frostbow, uh, Faded Frostbow. 
other than that, I still think there is a bug within the Fate equipment uh, with Misty Breath. I still don't see this, um, you know, restoring of her rage for each female hero on the field. I don't know, for, I mean, for, yeah, that's it. So he, she should be restoring 10 rage uh, for each female hero in the field, enemy or ally to Frostbow. So I don't exactly know, you know, this should be activated at the start of the battle or during the battle. Even so, you know, I don't see a big jump in her awakening bar, so I th think there is a bug there. Apart from that, I can't say anything else bad about Faded Frostbow uh, other than that. So now my final thoughts on Frostbow. Of course, I already mentioned that she is a quite decent DPS. The survivability is a bit of an issue. However, she is very good in quite a lot of the um, PvE. And especially now with PvP, I don't think you'll be replacing Sohi as your primary DPS in Arena. However, in X Arena, she is more than welcome to join the uh, other remaining parties. She's probably going to be your second best DPS in your entire team. So definitely put her in your X Arena teams. Now let's go through uh, my final thoughts on Faded Frostbow. Uh, Faded Frostbow is a very very good hero, uh, especially with Sylph Coal and the increase to Freeze. This is just so insane and she now gets 2 rage every time she freezes a target and with Icy Insight, oh my god, I, I cannot stress enough how good Faded Frostbow is and hopefully like I said earlier they do fix this um, bug where Frostbow is not getting the restore rate 10 restore rage for each female hero in the field so I do hope that um, that gets fixed I still believe it's a bug correct me if I'm wrong I'd be happy to say you know you guys said that it's actually working uh, and of course, just send me how it actually works. And um, you know, I know there's not a lot of people who have Faded Frostbow. She costs a ton for the Christmas event, but I'm really glad I got her. Um, she's very good in PVE and PVP wise. Uh, of course, I mean, oh, sorry. Let's start off with PVE. I'm getting ahead of myself guys, I'm really getting ahead of myself. So PvE wise, story mode, she's fine, she's very good in story mode, um, in campaigns, definitely get her 10 Unox, I mean the extra awakening for your mage heroes just will just obliterate the 10 Unox. And I know some people will use Kitsune there as well, so that's basically double awakening. So that is a very good thing. Uh, Mountain Bandit, of course, you, she's more than welcome to be there as well. And of course, she's also welcome to go to Battle of Don Pass, where you fight, um, what's his name now? Uh, gosh, I can't remember her, the name on top of my head. Um, but yeah, that's right, Marcus. So. Uh, you know, she's very good in that regard. DPS wise, she's very insane, and especially with if you maximize IC Insight. Now, let's go through PvP. PvP wise, in Arena, I would say I could, it's debatable uh, whether you can, you want Sohi in your team or Faded Frostbow. It's very, it's a very hard call because um, with the recent addition of Faded Red Mask in everyone's team, so he is sort of neutralized because of it, because of Faded Red Mask. So Faded Frostbow's ability also hits heroes from the back. So if you can get rid of the back heroes and certainly focus, just focus on Red Mask, then there is a higher chance for you to beat your opponent. Uh, so it is very situational. I still think a lot of people still use Sohi, but Faded Red, 
Faded Frostbow might just be uh, the hero that you need if you're facing Faded Red Mask. Now, I'm not saying that Faded Frostbow is definitely a counter for Faded Red Mask because even though she looks like a mage now, she is practically still a range archer DPS. So it's still she's still considered as a archer DPS. This is confirmed when you're playing, when you're fighting Asura. Asura doesn't get hit by mage abilities, whereas Frostbow can still hit Asura. Um, so yeah that's it for this video guys I uh, hope you guys find it informative uh, remember to click like subscribe and share this video if you find it helpful at all as always I would like to hear from you guys what you think of Faded Frostbow do you think she's a bit too OP or do you think she's quite quite good and quite decent now compared to normal Frostbow I would like to hear from you guys what you think and I think this video has gone long enough. All I have to say is Happy New Year, guys. Hopefully, you have a very, very good New Year, start of the year. And hopefully, 2017 brings us more Brave Cross goodness. This is Munchkins logging off. And I'll see you guys in the next level.